Hey guys, welcome back to the Coco channel and to another gift guide video. I know this is super late. You literally have like one leak, one leak, one week left before you have to get all your shopping done. So I just wanted to start off, <clears throat> I just wanted to do the women's gift guide. It is going to be by far the longest because I'm a woman and I know what women like. I would love if he would stop screaming. Um, so I think I'm going to start off with stocking stuffers just because it's like the smaller stuff we can get it out of the way. Um, and let's go ahead and get started on this gift guide. Like I said, we're starting off with stocking stuffers. The first thing that I thought was brilliant was the wet brush. I know we've talked about like the whole, um, lint situation, but I feel like if it's in your purse, you're obviously not going to use it as much. And they have like winter prints. Look at how stinking cute this is. I got this for myself and I think this one was only like $4, something like that. Um, and I did get this at Target. They had an end cap full of little um, stocking stuffers and so I absolutely loved this. I thought this was so stinking cute. Something that I'm going to definitely toss I think in either one of my girlfriend's bags or my mom's is they had a whole thing of Dr. T in different scents I guess you would say or it's not a flavor but anyways I went ahead and picked up the soothe and sleep with lavender so you get a body wash the bubble bath and then you also have like a little bath fizzy in the back and I think this thing was only like five dollars something like that and it's already wrapped really really cute this would be really easy to toss in like maybe people's work bags um, if you're making gift bags for people at work or something like that it's already packaged and cute you can be like here <laughs> This is something that I got for myself and I am so excited about it. This was at Target. This was in the back um, where the actual stocking stuffer stuff were. Stuff is. English is hard. Um, and this is the Hometics Marvelous. Get it? Because it's marble. Um, mini massager. So there's different colors. I, of course, got the pink one. It lights up. And you can literally do this to yourself. Oh man, if you have sore tight muscles like I do, especially up in my neck because of my large chest and who knows what else. Um, this is amazing to put in someone's stocking and I don't even think it was that expensive. I think it was like maybe five bucks. I could be wrong, don't quote me on prices. Uh, I'm also on cough medicine, so. <laughs> um, anyways. I thought this was brilliant and so cute. If I was a girl and Andrew put this in my stocking, like I, I just said if I was a girl, I am a girl. If, An <laughs> if Andrew put this in my stocking, I would be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You all saw it coming. This is the L'Occitane um, little bulb. And of course you could obviously take it out of the box, but this comes with three products. I'm keeping this one for myself because I love it. Um, and it's so cute. Ooh. So it's like an actual ornament, number one. Look at how pretty that is. That is so stinking pretty. And then you get three products inside, which are all amazing and might get you hooked. I. Don't know if you remember, but I got this for Shauna in our swap, and it comes with two um, little lotions. One is the, the milk concentrate, and one is just the delicious hands. And then you get the Amande shower oil. Ooh, girl, she went out and bought the full size, which. <laughs> uh, anyways, the, it's really, really good. Um, again, this would be really, really cute to put in your stocking, or you could even hang it on the tree and put like their name on it. This is so stinking cute and pretty. Okay, another thing. Um, that kind of segues from makeup, uh, stocking stuffers into makeup, uh, are these little kits from Stila. So you have the glitter ones, which are so nice. These are by far the best glitters that I've used. Um, I don't use them a ton, but this one has a really, really cute one. It's called Golden Girl, uh, which is new to this collection. Um, and then you also have the Stila Mini of the Huge, which is my favorite last what which is my favorite mascara and then you have like a glitter topper which I think is just so festive and fun even to like throw on for Christmas although I'm kind of nervous about getting glitter in my eyes but anyways I think these are really really cute to put in stockings okay and then one more makeup item I think the rest is like kind of skincare kit stuff 
Oh man, if you were gonna get somebody any palette, this is like my highest recommendation for the year is the Huda Nude Palette. There's just something about this, like the glitters in here are so unique and fun. The like berry colors are right up my alley. Um, so if you have a makeup lover in your life and you're thinking of a palette to get for them, I highly recommend this one. It's just so unique and different. Um, I, don't, I just absolutely love this. This is definitely going to be in my yearly favorites for 2018. I am all about those kits. Um, so I wanted to mention the Ole Henriksen. I love Ole Henriksen. I really, really do. Um, so you have the classic C one, which has the truth serum, which is a holy grail of mine. Um, and then some things that I've never tried before that I was really excited about are the banana bright cream. I don't know. That just sounds really, really nice like banana cream under your eyes like that just sounds like heaven to me um and then you do have like a day and night cream which is always amazing these little kits aren't overly expensive and especially right now you might find some of them on sale when i was in sephora they were putting up the red tags which are like get it now um clearance prices and then <clears throat> One more is the Ole Henriksen Sauna Glow. So it comes with a facial scrub and then a plunge pore mask. So you, it's actually a two-step little kit, and I think this one was fairly exp inexpensive considering how big the actual uh, products are. They're like huge, full-size products. So I just wanted to mention those because kit, you can never go wrong with kits, and I just feel like Ole Henriksen, their packaging is really, really pretty. It like feels very festive, and their products are very, very luxurious and nice. Got something from my mom. I really wish I wouldn't have, but she loves it. This is the Sol de Janeiro kit. Ah, oh, I mean the box itself is absolutely gorgeous. Like it's a nice box that she'll be able to keep, and then it comes with. I can even smell it right now with being sick like that's how strong this bum bum crap is so you get to body spray a big tub a little tub and then what is this uh oh even a lip balm all with that crappy smell Blech. so this was I, I can't remember how much this one was but I know she's really really gonna love it I could literally just put a bow on it I don't even have to wrap it because it's so festive and pretty like I'll give them an A for packaging just an F for the scent that's just me personally because it triggers headaches for me. Um, I got my mom another body care product. Um, I think I showed this to you guys in a haul a while back. This is the Bath & Body Works um, Aromatherapy Collection in Sleep Black Chamomile. They have a Sleep Lavender, but this was the Black Chamomile, and it said, like, brought back by popular demand, which I guess was, like, a big deal. So you have the lotion, which comes in that nice, like, matte glass bottle, and then the body gel. Um... I know you're thinking, Brittany, you got your mom a lot of body stuff, but she really, really enjoys it, and it's something that she doesn't want to spend a ton of money on herself. I remember she used the 20, I had a 20% off last year, and she bought herself the bum bum cream, and she felt like really guilty about it. Can't relate. <laughs> Just kidding. That sounds terrible. Something that I recommend that I always get for myself are a ton of these philosophy um, body gels. There's like so many different flavors. They all do go on sale after Christmas time. This is by far my favorite one. It's the candy cane. Oh man, delish. Some little treats. Um, I am giving this to my mom. This is another thing where she wouldn't treat herself to like an expensive tea. Like the, I always get her teas because she really enjoys them. So this is the Tazo Joy, um, and it has like the individual sachets and. So I hope I know she'll really really enjoy this one. And I got that at Target in the back where I got that Starbucks hot chocolate, like where all the food stuff is in the Christmas section. Um, something else that I really am excited that I think she's gonna be, she's gonna lose her little mind over. This is the Ethel M chocolates. These are the liquor ones. I don't know if anybody remembers Ethel M. Um, I actually found this in the airport in Las Vegas as I was coming home. Um, and she used to get these all the time, but there's not as many Ethel M's as there used to be. Uh, Vegas actually has an Ethel M factory. Fun fact. <laughs> um, so just wanted to share those. Uh, if you like liqueur chocolates, these are definitely like the best of the best from what I'm told. I'm not a fan of liquor chocolate, but... Oh man, this is something really, really exciting. I got 
me and Miss Bailey some matching shoes and I highly recommend these like to husbands that maybe have wives with little girls okay so these are mommies and they're just little snowflakes these are gonna be so cute with just like a pair of jeans and then I got these for Bailey but I don't know if they're gonna fit her feet I hope so but we'll see I can always exchange them look at how stinking cute these are oh my gosh and so those are the mommy and me like how how cute is that honestly I highly recommend to any husbands or even this is like a gift that you can get for anyone that moms that have little minis you know moms that have little girls like the matching thing is so much fun if you do it right like I feel like just a little pair of shoes or just a little t-shirt you know what I mean or even in like a, they have a ton of mommy and me matching headbands and stuff like that from little small business shops on like Instagram or Etsy um that is always a huge hit like I would love if Andrew gave me something like that like Bailey and me matching headbands I would die I think I would literally die if Andrew did something really cute like that I would um this is something that I'm gonna give to my mom during a Black Friday Kohl's had a sale where you could get diamond earrings for $20 so I've got one for me my mom and my grandmother um, definitely be on the lookout for that next year in case you miss it every single um, like department store does it Kohl's had it Macy's had it JC Penney's had it so they all do it and you can get like these were $105 it's only one tenth of a carat but it's like $20 so if you lose one or if something really bad happens like you don't feel as bad you know what I mean but they were still originally a hundred dollars so it's still like a pretty luxe gift I don't know it's like a win-win something I think you can never go wrong with like for grandparents or whoever our ornaments the first year Aiden was in this world we gave everyone an ornament with his little handprint on it um, to grandparents great-grandparents stuff like that uh, you could also do like a picture of you and the family in a little you know picturized ornament um, I have one for Andrew and it's our first home 2018 I mean I bought it for myself but I'm just gonna give it to him as a gift so it doesn't feel that bad that I spent eight dollars on an ornament um, and then I did get one for Andrew's sister her wife and their little girl it says like 2018 first family of three so you can never go wrong with ornaments I just feel like they're super cute they'll remember it forever last little segment is going to be for the home decor lover which would be me um I found this after Raw Beauty Christie was going on and on about these magnolia candles from Target um which is Chip and Joanna game oh and so she was like if you want your house to smell like a Christmas tree but like fancy and classy and not overpowering then you need this and this is the cedar magnolia which I don't feel like it smells like a Christmas tree at all but it smells really really good and look at how pretty this little tin is like you could totally use this after the fact and it's a soy candle and um, they had like I think three total scents don't quote me on that and they were on an end cap so at mine at least and I'm really excited about burning this and I feel like this would be a really really good gift to give as well I don't feel like you can go wrong with candles um, obviously you guys know my favorite one from Bath and Body Works is the blueberry one uh, because it does not give me a headache so I just wanted to mention candles but specifically I just think this one is so pretty even if you don't burn it like it's just pretty I'm gonna burn it you guys are gonna see all of this in another video but I just wanted to share some things that I found at Kohl's um, that were actually re relatively inexpensive so you have this really cute little lantern and it has like that farmhouse feel to it I am going a little bit more farmhouse upstairs since I'm very Parisian downstairs um and so I just really really loved this it has all the different sayings faith blessed hope love okay and then I got a cloche 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 um, I'm not quite sure how you say this so you put little lights in it or you could put anything you wanted in it really but um, I really love the fairy lights it does not come with the fairy lights you have to buy those separately uh, it says string lights not included but this was really really inexpensive um, I want to say this was like half off plus I got like 30% off it's originally 40 but I just thought it looked really really pretty and I can't wait to put it upstairs and then this I thought was so stinking cute um, they had a bunch of different ones but this is the three piece LED candle set um, they have like just plain white ones uh, and they are 
uh, remote control so you get three different sizes you can stack them you can you know what I mean do whatever you want I'm even thinking about maybe putting one in the clash uh, with the lights I don't know we'll see we'll see what happens one's gonna go definitely in the lantern and so I'm gonna do a video on like redoing my mantle upstairs it's not a mantle it's like my dresser because it just doesn't have anything going on right now. So, uh, anyways, that is the end of this video. I can't believe that I went by as fast as it, is, as it did. I thought it was going to take forever. But I did. I went through everything. Stocking stuffers, the beauty lover, the makeup lover, um, little treats, little yummy bits, and then the home decor lover. Like, are there any other types of women in this world? Are there? I don't think so. Um, again... I want to end it with don't forget to make memories like I said we're doing so many things in this month um, we've already done quite a few and you know we spent money on pictures with Santa we spent money on pictures at zoo lights like they have photographers where they take your photos um, and that is like part of the memories and then when we go to Polar Express we'll pay for you know all kinds of stuff for keepsakes and just making that memory and keeping it alive um, this will be the first time it's going to be amazing. And so I thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new, hello and welcome. My name is Brittany Coco. You are watching the Coco channel. Please subscribe if you're not already. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!